so still sick but uh just musing contemplating expressing because that's still what the fuck i do it always is it's, it's what all of us do it's what all of this is just seeing and understanding how our experience of a situation is comfortable or uncomfortable, is, is less comfortable or more comfortable, not based on the situation itself. The situation can be that which is perceived outside of ourselves, or it can be that which is perceived as occurring within ourselves, such as a physical experience of illness or emotion itself. But our comfortability in this really is not anything to do with the situation, the condition, so to speak, but rather our characterization of it our judgment of it, which is where we introduce resistance or attachment, which is just another form of resistance. And so something like feeling sick, feeling that which we define as sick, feeling soreness in the body, feeling congestion in the nose uh, or the chest or, you know, headaches whatever it is muscle aches, pain, general fatigue the feelings of these things are perhaps more and less pleasant, certainly but the discomfort factor really primarily stems from the judgment, again, the characterization of something as bad. If I feel tired, and I feel soreness in the muscles, and I feel congestion in my chest, those may not be the most pleasant of sensations, but when I'm not calling them bad, when I'm not saying it's bad to feel this way, but I'm not saying I feel bad, then I'm not pushing against those things, which, which are, <laughs> are what, what is in this moment. I'm not pushing against the experience, the manifestation of the present moment by telling it that it shouldn't be that way by judging it, by characterizing it as wrong. When I decide deliberately that it's not wrong to feel tired, it's not wrong to feel congestion, <laughs> it's not even bad, it's certainly not bad to feel these things, then this space emerges wherein I can witness this experience, I can allow it to be my experience in the moment without pushing against it. And so even if that experience is of contrast, is of something that isn't necessarily terribly pleasant or pleasurable, it's not really uncomfortable either. It just is. It simply is the content of this moment. And so it is only in the resistance to what is where our self-created suffering, as all suffering is self-created, stems from. And that is because, well, a multitude of reasons. Number one, we are the present. We are presence. We are the present moment. We are the entirety of it. Truly what we are is the container of it, but it is we which is allowing all things, all self, to manifest as it so chooses in this moment. When you are rejecting the moment in any way, you are rejecting yourself. From an energetic perspective, 
that which we are, that which is presence, which is source, consciousness, the pure I am, the pure awareness that is observing and never judging. Well, it's doing exactly that. It's never judging. It's simply experiencing the moment as it is. It is witnessing. It's very aware and alive and intensely involved in the experience of this moment. The one that you are in. The one that you are participating in. That you are experiencing. And it is through you that this broader part of yourself, your source, your pure consciousness is experiencing. But when you from the small perspective, the small self, from the egoic perspective, judge or characterize the content of this moment, which is the condition, as bad, that is where your energy diverges from the energy of yourself, your true self, your source, because your true self, your source, is never making a judgment call. It's never characterizing anything as good or bad or should or should not be as right or wrong. It holds always the highest perspective, which is all is as all should be. Everything always is right. All of the time. It's all good. All of the time. In the highest way, in the purest way, that which is benefiting all consciousness in simply being what it is. So it's only in that, in that moment, when we introduce a judgment and therefore a resistance to the isness of the moment, that we diverge from our own energy, from the flow of our own self. And that's what doesn't feel good. That's what we experience as suffering. <laughs> that resistance. It can be attachment as well because attachment is just another form of resistance when we characterize something as good in the context of compared to bad. Therefore, this thing is good and I do not want it to leave and we are clinging to it. Again, that's just a resistance to the natural flow of the moment, which is continuously unfolding and evolving. What we are is perpetually progressing life, always becoming more, always expanding, always improving upon. When we cling in any way, whether it is trying to hold on to something or trying to push against something, what we are doing is pushing against our own self, our own energy, and that's what the discomfort arises from. That is where the suffering is. Only and ever in that. So it's possible to be sick, to be physically unwell, to be emotionally unwell, and even that is, is a judgment itself. A word that is not vibrationally accurate. It is a concept, an egoic definition. It is possible to be in the midst of the experience of physical contrast or emotional contrast, put it that way, that which is unwanted, that which is perhaps not so pleasant, that which is even unhappiness. It is possible to be in the midst of that experience and not be uncomfortable with it. And then in realizing that you're not uncomfortable with what is, everything is good. <laughs> you haven't changed what is. You haven't asked it to change. In fact, you're not asking it to change. You're accepting that what is is exactly as it should be. You accept the full content of this moment, unhappiness or physical unpleasantness perhaps included, wholly included witnessed looked in the eye, acknowledged fully, not denied but 
that's where the power and the peace lies, is in the surrender to what is. When you realize your ability to suffer or not suffer has nothing to do <laughs> with the content of the moment. Again, whether that is something perceived as being experienced outside of yourself, some situation, or within yourself, a thought, an emotion, a physical experience. Your ability to feel peace or feel suffering has nothing to do with any of those things. It is beyond condition. It relies entirely upon your willingness to and deliberate intent to accept the conditions as they are, to simply let them be, to experience them without judgment, to just not add characterization to them essentially to just not try to add anything not build a story around it not tell it what it is or isn't just let it be <laughs> and in letting it be you are in alignment with yourself your source your true presence power and pleasure and then whatever bees just serves you it's not uncomfortable, even <laughs> in its less pleasant sensations, it's not uncomfortable, it simply is, and it is just another gateway for your peace, for your broader pleasure, and for you to tap into and know the stability the wellness of your power, of your being. So, that's pretty cool. And I am grateful for this experience <laughs> of that which could be called unpleasantness because it just teaches me deeper surrender and has shown me even more profoundly how when I'm not telling myself when I'm not making up some story about it being wrong to feel what I feel when I just let it be and I let it be right even I let it be okay it's not bad and it's not wrong to feel this way physically or emotionally then it's not so scary it's not so threatening it doesn't have this seriousness this weight to it it's not something that really matters it's just kind of here, and I am intensely present and at peace. What a magnificent demonstration to myself of how to access and how delicious it is to access this place of true power. Pretty freaking 